All right, welcome back to Yahoo Finance Live on this Friday morning. We're never short of big ideas. Elon Musk yesterday uh, unveiling Tesla's plans to build what they're calling a humanoid robot um, to, you know, do what robots do, help perform repetitive tasks <laughs> and the like. Yahoo Finance is Dan Howley stopping by now for uh, all the uh, latest on Howley, what we saw yesterday at um, Tesla's announcement and, and sort of, I guess, what it means, what it doesn't mean, where it fits within the overall conversation about Musk and, and Tesla right now. Yeah, what did we see yesterday? I think that's kind of the, the real question. That's uh, uh, not a robot. Uh, at least there, you know, maybe that's a, a mock-up of the robot that you're seeing. But what walked out on stage next to Elon Musk uh, was just a person in a suit. Uh, and then he admitted, <laughs> guys, this is just a person in the suit. He also said it probably <laughs> won't work uh, out of the gate. Uh, so re really good uh, kind of for your investors when you hear the CEO say, hey, here's a guy in a suit. It might not work. Uh, they're basically building this, as you said, to uh, uh, have work for repetitive tasks, uh, tasks that may be dangerous for people. Uh, he wanted to talk about how this could provide universal basic income at some point or be a means for universal, universal basic income. Uh, but really uh, what this is, is mostly supposed to be a showcase for Tesla's sensors, its batteries, uh, and its capabilities as far as that kind of technology goes. Uh, and it's worth pointing out, by the way, that robots, you know, like what uh, Boston Dynamics has, uh, things along those lines, are really difficult to put together. Uh, you know, you've seen the ones that uh, recently were filmed doing parkour. That takes a long time. And, you know, the design looks nothing like uh, what Tesla has. So uh, it's probably not going to happen. I mean, this is what Elon Musk is known for. He drums up this kind of interest. Uh, and then it takes a long time, if ever, uh, for us to see these things. Think of the uh, wild roof uh, solar panel uh, issues that we've seen uh, about, you know, uh, different vehicles coming out in different times uh, that he did not uh, originally uh, say uh, whether or not we'll have autonomous vehicles uh, running anytime soon. So take take this with a grain of salt, but still very interesting. The other thing they announced, uh, which is more tangible, uh, is their new D1 chip, which is an AI chip that they're developing in-house uh, that they will be using to better uh, work out some of the issues with self-driving capabilities on their vehicles. Uh, and that's something that I think is important. And this really just kind of is meant as a means to attract new people uh, for uh, Tesla's AI efforts, as well as their uh, kind of efforts in different ventures that they're working on. And, and I think it, it's, it's you know, an interesting move. It gets people talking about Tesla. We all talk about uh, the company is, you know, an automaker as well as a technology company. And that's kind of what this helps them do. Uh, I do uh, think it's worth pointing out that this comes uh, just a few days after the National Highway Transportation Safety Administration announced that they were investigating or launching a probe into 11 crashes uh, of Teslas using at least autopilot or in some instances, perhaps it's full self-driving mode, uh, which crashed into emergency vehicles. Uh, a lot of them, uh, of course, happened at night. Uh, and this is uh, kind of something that's thrown Tesla uh, into the conversation again about whether or not they overbrand what they offer, autopilot and full self-driving mode. Sound like you can use them without being uh, attentive, but specifically when you look at the support page for both of those, they say uh, in no uncertain terms that you need to be attention, uh, pay attention while using these modes. Uh, so it's interesting to see Tesla rolling this out at this point. Obviously, this was scheduled way before uh, the NHTSA uh, probe was announced, but still uh, interesting to see how they continue to try to innovate in this AI space. Hey, just real quick, Dan, um, as we see an event like this, you, you mentioned that the the realist thing, for lack of a better word, was that chip that they are developing. Any kind of timeline on that? Yeah, that's that's probably going to be coming relatively shortly for them. Uh, you know, and it's also interesting, by the way, to point out that they have serious competition in, in the AI space. Now, this is going to work uh, for Tesla. It's going to be in their own systems. Uh, so it doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be offering it to other companies, although that could be a good play for them down the line, uh, considering that, you know, they are known for AI, but they also have to contend with the likes of Intel, obviously, and NVIDIA, uh, which is, you know, basically making hay uh, about its AI capabilities. And, you know, that's where they're making a lot of their money now. Uh, so I think it's interesting to see more and more of these companies working on their own AI chips uh, and taking on bigger brands uh, as they do it.
All right, Yahoo Finances, Dan Halley with the latest on Tesla's uh, latest big moonshot. I'm sure um, their AI plans will land somewhere in the general idea of where they're planning. Maybe not a full robot, but certainly uh, something interesting. And as always, some of the technology will work in a Tesla. And that's that's ultimately uh, the point of where the enterprise is headed. All right, Allie, thanks for stopping by on this Friday.